Hey everybody! Now today I'm going to show you how to get to the start of the Patrick John Cavallo Way without having to go on a road. Now in my last video, I'll put a link up here and at the end, I showed you the Sturt River Linear Path and that connects onto the My Turtle Bikeway, the Merino Rocks Greenway and the Patrick John Cavallo Way once you get to the end of the Sturt River Linear Path, which is where we are now. So you'll see this, this wall here, this orange wall. This is the end, you know you've reached the end here, but what we're going to do to get onto the Patrick John Cavallo Way is we're going to go down here and under this bridge and I'll show you where to go from there. And it's pretty simple, it's a little sneaky way that not many people know about, but once you know this, then you know how to move around the city and go all the way down to McLaren Vale, you can go up to, and I'll show this in another video, but um, to Outer Harbour, um, all the way around the city, out to the coast, um, you can do this all on bike paths, it's so exciting. Now the Patrick John Cavallo Way is about seven kilometres of uninterrupted bikeway, so you don't have to cross a road, nobody else is allowed on the bikeway, it's purely for cyclists, which is why I love it, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, it follows the Southern Expressway, and then it connects onto another bike path, you just cross over a road and it connects to another bike path. I always thought that entire bike path was a Patrick John Cavallo way, but apparently it's not. Um, but it feels like it because there's nobody else on the path and there is just that one road to cross. It then connects up with the um, Coast to Vines Trail, which takes you down to McLaren Vale and Wollonga. The other thing that it does is it actually crosses over the Coast to Vines Trail earlier on. So what I've done today, and you can check this loop out in the description below, I'll put it down here on Strava, um, but what I've done is I've come along the from the Mike Turner Bikeway and come along the Sturt River Linear Path to this spot, and then going to go up to the Patrick John Cavallo Way, right on that for a little bit, till the part where it crosses over the Coast to Vines Trail, and instead of um, continuing on the Vallow Way or turning left onto the coast of Vines. We're going to turn right and just go back towards the coast and then, or I'm going to because <laughs> I'm not going to film it, um, and then go along the coast back onto the Mike Turner Bikeway and that's just a really wonderful loop. So I just thought if, you, if you're interested in that and doing that loop, check it out and I'll share it on Facebook as well. Um, but let's do this. So remember we're just right at the end of the Sturt River linear path and then we're going left under this bridge. So don't keep going that way, which is a mistake I've made <laughs> a couple of times when I first found this path. Go up this way. And Hungry Jacks, so when you see Hungry Jacks, you know you're on the right path. putting this in along here, it's great. This will just be a footpath and... We're going here, so we're gonna go past Hungry Jacks. So now we're on the footpath, but remember, I don't know about you, but I'm always like, I find landmarks like that really useful. So just remember you need to go past Hungry Jacks. And up here, we're gonna cross the road. And then we're basically there. is right over there. So you see that denture clinic?
riding up this side of the road till you get here and as you can see it's not signed it's not signed at all you, you would think that there would be something that says Patrick Jonker Valley Way or start of the Valley Way or something but there's not and so it's not easy to find so I can understand why a lot of people just don't know where it is but if you look out for the dental clinic over here you know the Hungry Jacks is over there you've got a super cheap auto across the road and so you haven't had to go on a road, you're just up the Sturt River linear path. Definitely come and check it out and stay tuned for my next video. Remember to subscribe. Follow me on socials, Facebook, Instagram and Strava because I put all of my um, rides on Strava. So if you want to check any of them out, follow any of the loops that I do, uh, definitely check those out. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for following along. See you on the road. <laughs>